morning. It is Sunday, February 5th. Can you believe it's the 5th of February already? That's crazy. So I think it's, it, it, you know, it's kind of funny. In Canada, we talk about the weather all the time and it's because basically our lives kind of like circulate around what the forecast is going to be. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I know it's not something that everybody talks about, but Canadians talk about the weather all the time. So I apologize that I talk about the weather and the, the temperatures and all of that, but like literally our lives revolve around it and it's crazy. But so it is, I think it was like negative 12 or 13 when I looked at the thermometer before we came out and uh, there is a wind chill I don't know feels like negative 19 or something but you know honestly <laughs> it um, it feels so much warmer than the negative 40 that we had for like a whole week um, and uh, you know it's crazy the just people's moods change so dramatically like Rod was even saying like uh, Friday was our last day of the extreme cold and um, he said like even the customers seem to be more um, happy and <laughs> upbeat and you kind of go into this like survival mode almost when you're just like trying to hunker down and get through these extreme colds and when you see like light at the end of the tunnel there's like hope and and joy and <laughs> it's uh yeah I just I don't know there might be a bit of a uh, a lesson in that um, when you're going through trials and hard times when you see the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel it kind of just gives you that uh, encouragement and that energy boost and um, yeah the strength to endure um, to get through it so um, but with warmer temps coming um, something that's been on my mind is uh, getting all my seeds out and getting my winter sewing done uh, before it gets into March, which is when I started last year, still successful, but I'd really like to get it started earlier and uh, be able to have a longer opportunity for everything to germinate and just, um, yeah, be more, more successful this year. So, unfortunately, with this cold weather, another issue can be clogged drains. We have a French drain that runs underneath the kitchen sink and goes out and along where the panels are and down through. We use the screen in the sink to combat any debris or anything that's too big or too large and we empty it on a regular basis but if any kind of fluid gets in there and it backs up and it freezes, then you're going to have it back up no matter how well you maintain your sinks. Well, I got the sink unclogged <laughs> after I realized there was a whole bunch of water on top of my honey pail <sighs> and underneath here. So I clean this all out and drained this still dripping a little bit I took three this is the third bucket so hopefully get this cleaned up and that helps things out hopefully there's not something frozen in the line and that's backing it up too so but cleaned out a lot of junk and dirt so and no, we don't have sewage, so it's not sewage as much as it looked like it was. <laughs> it was purely just dirty water. Gray water, they call it. Because of the cold weather and stuff, too, 
I'm going to have to put Rod in the doghouse again. Oh, not this one. <laughs> Thorn, are you actually going to use that doghouse? <laughs> this is where our French drain is. So it seems as though it's kind of uh, frozen up on us. Hence why we've been having backups in our kitchen sink. Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 8th. And we are headed out on an adventure today. Something we have never done. And I'm very excited about it. So we have uh, our friends, Pete and Kim, who um, also live off grid. We haven't seen them for a couple months and we are going out on an adventure to go visit them. So we'll be taking you along for the ride, which is even more exciting. So uh, just out here, we can't take the dogs with us, unfortunately. So I'm just out giving the dogs a bit of a run, wear off some energy and um, head on out. So yeah. Really cool. I'm so excited about it. Yes, Nadia? 
Well, me and mommy were walking. We saw eyes, but there was not eyes. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they yeah. were probably caught. Just like constant. Never so scared, never so safe and sound. Like, I'll catch up. <laughs> Hold on. There's puppets on the ice. Is there? I'm tired. Actually, no, I'm piped up. You're piped? Get some of your beans out. This is easy. <laughs> That's right. This is easy, this is simple, this is fun. This is hard. This is easy, this, this is, is simple, simple, this is this fun. This is not fun. This is easy. trail here. You can see him back in the bush there. I don't know if you can see his collar. He's back over there, that black spot. There he is. But he uh, has been claiming this tree here, this path. So obviously something keeps coming out from this little trail here. Most likely a coyote. What do you think, Charlie? He comes to this spot every time we come down here, so. You coming, Thorn? Come on, bud. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Look at that sunrise. Gorgeous.
Good morning. What a weather change from, from uh, the crazy cold week. We've had above zero temperatures yesterday. Um, my thermometer even read 13 degrees. Uh, that's just crazy. <laughs> Uh, I know it was just my thermometer in the sun, but still, I mean, in the sun, the temperature is just so beautiful. And yeah, I'm welcoming it. It, it. It's only the middle of February, but it does, I can feel spring already. And I'm trying not to get too, too hopeful and, uh, <laughs> But the, the forecast is looking really nice. Um, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> so uh, because of the nicer weather, we actually didn't end up having to work on the French drain because uh, it must have had a freeze in there because uh, that's actually in the area where the vanity is too. So with the vanity freezing up, I have a feeling that there was something frozen up in there and it let go so um rod went to work on it and he was trying the drain first which makes sense and it didn't back up so that's a bonus i think there's still something going on there so we'll still have to get in there and loosen that up and figure out what's going on there but for now in the cold weather we uh, we should be okay until it gets uh, to positive degrees is for the majority of the time. So that's that's really nice. So I still haven't gotten out to uh, the sea can to get my soil and my containers to start my seed sowing, my winter sowing. Um, been procrastinating, and I need to get on to that just had a few things happening we have some exciting stuff happening um, I can't tell you exactly what yet <laughs> um, but there's things in the making and it will affect our homestead and hoping that it will allow us to expand a little um, in a health wise way so I don't want to leave you guys hanging but I have to because um, I should find out this week if it's going to fall through or proceed <laughs> but um, yeah some exciting stuff for our future at Tiny Foot Acres and expansion onto the Life's Too Short brand. Be tuning in to find out what our new adventure may be. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. <laughs> uh, we had a wonderful day um, back in the bush with our friends and um, just <laughs> We want to collaborate together. Um, my friend is multi-talented, um, Kamiko, and they also have a homestead. And But every time we're there, uh, especially this time, we haven't seen them for a couple months. So um, <laughs> it's like we just, we just want to visit. We don't want our camera on us. And um, so we end up not collaborating anything. So um, she loves to cook. And so maybe the next time we're there, we can cook a meal together and record that or something. But um, for now, we, uh, yeah, we just enjoy our time together. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was quite the experience. Uh, we uh, took a snowmobile in. It was about a 20, 25 minute ride and then crossed the, uh, the lake and uh, we're there for quite a few hours. We had a beautiful walk and a meal together and uh, 
the weather was just unbelievable and sunny and just gorgeous and then um, yeah snowmobile ride back out and uh, just just I don't know if you've never been up to this area you just really got to put it on your bucket list yeah. you'll 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 never it's like a different province to be honest it's just such a different atmosphere it's very very different than the southern eastern part of Ontario so I do recommend putting it on your bucket list and there's a um, a lot of things to do up here too so many provincial parks and so much hiking and camping and lakes yeah so um, make it part of your adventures because life is too short and you need to take any adventure that you can.